In this video, I'm going to show you how to filter a data frame based off numerical values. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and load in tidyverse. So to do that, I just need to do library tidyverse. If you don't have it, you may need to run install.packages, parentheses, quotations, and then tidyverse in there. But for since I already have it, I can just load it in here. And then I'm going to bring in the MPG data set that's included in R. And so you can see that this is just a bunch of data that's on cars. And what we want to do is we want to actually filter this data based off of a numerical value. So what I'm going to use is this DISPL value here. And you can see that this is a decimal place value. So I'm going to use what's known as the pipe operator from dplyr. So I'm going to do control shift M. And this is going to add this percent greater than sign percent. And what that basically does is it tells it to take whatever's been done prior to it and input that as the new data set into the next function. And the function we're going to be using today is called filter. Filter basically takes in some logical condition that's going to give back a true or false for every single item that you're including it in. And then filter is only going to return back the rows that are true. So in this case, if I want this DSPL and I only want to pull the ones that is equal to 1.8. So I'm going to do equals equals and then I'm going to do 1.8. Because this is a numerical value and not a character, I don't want to put any quotations around this. And then I can hit shift enter to let it run. And you can see that I'm getting back all the rows that only has 1.8 in this column. But that's really limiting if you can only do equals. So we have a few different ways to get back more that we may want. So in this case, let's do what rows are greater than 1.8. So this is the row in the column has a value for DISPL that is greater than 1.8. When we run that, you see we get a lot more rows here and they all have a value in this column greater than 1.8. We also have less than 1.8. So if we run that, we see we only get a few rows here that have a value of 1.6. And then finally, what if we wanted the 1.6 and the 1.8, but nothing above it? Well, what we can do is do is less than or equal to. And when we run that, you see we get the 1.8s back in and the 1.6s in here as well. And then, of course, we have the opposite of that, which is greater than and equal to. And we can run that as well. And you see the 1.8 comes in with the others. So those are the five different ones that you're going to want for a single logical condition. Now, what if you wanted it to be between two and three? Obviously, you can't put is equal to two, two, three. That's just going to give you two minus three is negative one, and it's going to look for value of negative one. So that obviously returned nothing. So instead, what we want to do is if we want it between two and three, we would want it to be less than three and we want it to be greater than two. And so we have these two conditions here, which is fine. And what we need to do is give it a way to know how does it combine those conditions together? Do you want to look for everything that is less than three or everything that is greater than two? Or do you want to look for everything that is both less than three and greater than two? So in our case, since we want to look between, we would want to use the ampersand or the and operator. So this will say it has to be less than three and greater than two. So when we run this, you see that we get 2.8, 2.4, 5, 7, all of these, but we don't get two and we don't get three because we didn't say less than an equals and greater than an equals. So if we put an equals on this one, you can see now we get 3.0 coming in here. And if we put an equals on this one, now we're getting 2.0 coming in here. If we put an or here, we're going to literally get every row back because every number can be one of these conditions. It can either be less than or equal to three or greater than or equal to two. And so if we run this, we just kind of get our entire data frame back. 
But let's do something a little bit different to kind of let you know how this works. So you can see here that we have several 2.8s that have different miles per gallon in the city. So some have 16, 18, 15, 17. So let's say we want this, one of our conditions to be equal to 2.8. So it's going to pull everything that has a 2.8 or anything that has a city miles per gallon less than 20. So for example, even though this has a 1.8 display, we, it has an 18 city mile per gallon, which means it's less than 20, which means it should still come up. So we're going to do at CTY to get that column. And then we're going to say is less than 20. And in this case, you can see we're not also including 20 in this analysis. So when we do this, you can see we're not just getting those that are, are equal to 2.8 here because we have this other option that it can be, which is less than 20. If we did an and here, you can see we're only getting those that have 2.8 and are less than 20 here. And so that's overall how you can filter a data set using numerical values. If this video was helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for more R tutorials. I will leave a few tutorials up on the screen for you here if you're interested in them. And I hope to see you in the next video.